Here's problem 9-8. A 12-gram bullet moving horizontally strikes and remains in a 3-kilogram block initially at rest on the edge of a table. The block, which is initially 80 centimeters above the floor, strikes the floor a horizontal distance of 120 centimeters from the initial position. What was the initial speed of the bullet? Alright, so we have a bullet. Let's call that mass 1. It's equal to 12 grams, which would be 0 0.012 kilograms. And it's flying with some initial speed that we wish to find. And it's going to hit a block. Let's call that mass 2, which is 3 kilograms. And that has an initial velocity of 0. All right, it's all on the counter like this, that's 0.8 meters high. So the bullet's going to get lodged in the block and a moment later after the collision the two will move together with the bullet lodged in the block. So they will have some kind of final velocity right after the collision and that final velocity will be totally in the x direction. Then it's going to fall in the y direction starting from rest but this velocity will be totally in the x direction. So we have a collision going on and the only thing we can be sure of this collision is that uh, momentum will be conserved. Kinetic energy will not be conserved because it's a perfectly inelastic collision but momentum will be conserved. After the collision the block will proceed forward under the rules of kinematics and conservation of energy. So it will fly forward and strike the ground with the bullet in it at a point that is 1.2 meters forward and so our delta x is going to be 1.2 meters and our delta y is going to be 0.8 meters. Using this fact we can reverse engineer the, uh, the mechanics of the parabolic motion to find what the x velocity was and that should be constant since there's no acceleration in the x direction and that will give us the final velocity of the bullet block combination right after the collision and then we can reverse engineer the um, momentum to find the initial velocity of the bullet. <clears throat> that's, our, that's our goal. So let's find out how much time the bullet block combination was in the air. It fell 0.8 meters from rest. So we should have that in the y direction our delta y will equal one half gt squared with no initial y velocity. So the time will equal two delta y over g square root that's going to be 2 times 0.8 over 9.8 square root and that is 0.404 seconds so it's in the air for 0.404 seconds nice to know now we can use that for the x direction in the x direction with no acceleration delta x will equal our x velocity times time so in other words our x velocity will equal delta x divided by time and it's going to go 1.2 meters 120 centimeters and it's going to do it in 0 .404 seconds the time that's in the air so that will be our x velocity for all time and that is 2.97 meters per second. Since that's our x velocity for all the time that's in the air, that is the x velocity corresponding to this final velocity of the bullet block combination right after the collision. So that is our v final there. Good to know because now we can set up our momentum equation. Mass 1, velocity 1 initial plus mass 2, velocity 2 initial, 
equals mass 1, velocity 1 final, plus mass 2, velocity 2 final, conservation of momentum. In this case, V1 final and V2 final will be the same because they stuck together. We also recognize that uh, V2 initial is 0 because the block was uh, initially at rest. So we have now that mass 1, V1 initial, is equal to mass 1 plus mass 2 V final. And our V final is indeed this 2.97 meters per second. So we can solve this for V1 initial, which is the initial velocity of the bullet. That's going to equal mass 1 plus mass 2 over mass 1 times V final. So that is going to be equal to 0 0.012 plus 3 over 0 0.012 times 2.97. And what is that? Seven hundred forty five point six meters per second. So that's how fast the bullet was going when it hit the block. Seven hundred forty five point six meters per second. Answer. Uh, 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 uh.